What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. My name is King's Reaper and in the last episode we did some quests and now it was time to move on. The first thing we were going to do was search for the bronze watch located on customs. I quickly grabbed some gear and decided to move in. I spawned on the west side of the map. After looking through some stashes I decided to move on to the truck the key for the truck I found in one of my first raids in dorms. After approaching it and scanning the area, I found out nobody was there. I felt safe to go for it. Now even though it seems like an easy task, this area is usually flooded with players and scavs, so it's kinda hard to get it sometimes. As I managed to achieve this quest, as I got the watch, I decided to move on to a more safer location, more known spot to me, and check the stash underneath the tree. And just as I was about to search the stash, little did I know, the scavs were plotting on me. They were angry. They wanted some blood. So I gave them just that. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. So I reloaded and decided to wait a couple of more seconds just to see if he's gonna come back for a round two because Cavs used to do that and still do but this Cav seems to be not interested anymore so I decided to loot further on That was a good spot to loot. That lens is gonna help a lot. I quickly moved forward to the next stash to see if I could find anything of a value. Money. Well, who would have known? And there was a toss as well. The toss that we need for a quest with Skier. Afterwards, I went to towards the exit to find another stash. After drinking quickly and quietly, I decided to pick up another duct tape and there was the end of our raid since I moved towards the exit. Now after quick organization of my inventory, sorting things out, it was time to turn in our second quest for Mr. Prepper. I sold him some goodies as well cause you know I ain't gonna use them anyway. So it was time to turn in the quest and move forwards. Upon completion, we had another quest. He wanted us to kill 15 scavs on woods. Therefore, I didn't think about it twice. I knew it. I was ready for woods. I could have do it. So, quickly grab some gear, get ready, and I moved into the woods looking for blood of scavs looking for those 15 scavs just to complete another task but things did not go as i wanted them to shortly after loading in i found a player i heard him running he was right around the corner waiting for me or in this case i was waiting for him it was time Patience was the key. And 
of course I missed. Because why wouldn't I? I wanted him to peek. I wanted him to find him. I wanted him to, to stand still. But unfortunately I wasn't fast enough. That ended our first raid on Woods. Even though it didn't go as well as planned, I decided it was time to go again on Woods. Quickly sorted the inventory, but my scav was up. I was able to go with my scav, so I decided quickly to go onto customs to grab some free loot, kill some players. The silenced AK wasn't a bad deal. So this time, I decided to check quickly the stashes that are immediately in front of me. You never know what you can find. There are some good keys to be found always in the cabinets, in the bags. And as I was looting, I didn't know that the danger was approaching. Slowly but surely, there was somebody coming to me. And you could hear him as well coming. I was ready. I was ready to fight this man to the death. Denied. Exactly. You were denied. You are not going to loot my stashes. You're not going to loot my cabinets and my bags. This was my room to loot. You should have gone and find yourself a better room. Just as I thought I was safe, another pair of footsteps. At this point, I was very scared. I thought I was gonna die. I thought this was the end. But luckily, seems like the player only went for the extract. He wasn't going to check this room. I still decided to go full stealth, move slowly, silently, like a ninja, not to be heard. Seemed like he was gone, that he wouldn't come anymore in this room, in this direction. I had both guns locked and loaded, ready to shoot. But luckily, the player went off. He wasn't coming back. The scav player that I killed had some healing items. He had some cheese on him. Thank Lord. It was time to check quickly what's remaining in this house, in this cabin, and perhaps to find some good keys. Unfortunately, this was not the case. There were no keys to be found. Therefore, I decided to loot his body fully now, because I felt safe. After taking everything he had, I decided to move forwards, check few stashes, and move to most popular stash that I always loot in every raid, 
the stash under the tree. And this stash was loaded. Unfortunately, it was not loaded with good items. It was just loaded. After stripping some parts from the AK, it was time to move forwards towards the next stash, towards my extract. So I quickly moved, checked the tent and the next stash. Unfortunately, nothing of my interest was found there and I extracted. I quickly picked my PMC and decided to go again into woods because I still needed a lot more scavs to kill. And immediately after spawning, I moved towards the sawmill where most of the scavs spawn on this map. And that was our first scav kill. A few moments later. These players were totally unaware of my existence, of my bush camping. And I was totally away, unaware how you can miss with Mosin. After waiting a few minutes and trying to see if those players are gonna repeak, I decided to move forwards. I stopped to check the stash underneath the tree, when all of a sudden, a movement. And that was our second scab on the map. It was time to loot his body quickly. I made a lot of noise. After looting him, I went back to the bush, I went underneath the tree and waited because most of the people are attracted to the sound of shots. They like to rush in, they like to, they, they just love finding those kills, being the third party. So I waited, I gave it a couple of seconds and then I decided to loot again. black tarp was always worth it and some good ammo was found this ammo is worth a lot of money after looting the stash and killing the scav it was time to move on towards the extract so I pushed towards the extract unfortunately there were no more scavs to be found along my way out Therefore, I quickly started organizing my inventory and decided to join yet another raid on woods. This one did not go as well as I planned. Just upon spawning, I was near the shore and I decided to push to Mark Circle because I was closest one to it. I wanted to see if I was lucky to get some good spawns. So I pushed. And I was not wrong. I found a VSS and a screw or pair of screws, which was good loot. I then decided to push back towards the shore because I would feel more safe there. This way I am very open and vulnerable to snipers or any other players coming with all kinds of weapons so my next move was pushing back towards the shore but I didn't know that there was already a player there 
just as I heard him. It was the end. The raid went horribly wrong. But that didn't keep me down. I decided yet again to heal, to get my inventory and stash organized, grab some gear, and yet again it was time to go to another woods raid. So after quickly checking what I can get and what I should get, I spawned again, pushed along, along the shore and went again next to the sawmill. And just as I was waiting there and listening to the beautiful sounds of SVD by scav boss shooting, I heard footsteps. Was yet another player unaware of my existence and of my position. After giving them a shot, it was time to push. And I found him. But then again, this happens. I get one tapped in a head while jumping. At this point, I was being very frustrated with those raids. I didn't want to go woods anymore. I decided it was time to change the scenery. It was time to go to the map where I was born at. The map that I knew so good that I couldn't get lost in it. I knew every spawn on it. Yeah, that's right. We went back for customs. It was time to go kill some players. Upon spawning, I checked for key spawns in the near my nearest vicinity, when all of a sudden, I heard footsteps. Somebody was running the same path I ran a minute ago. So it was time to intercept him. I tried to be as quiet as possible not to give him away my position. He was looting. He was looking at the weapons case that is spawned next to the van I looked in. It was only question where does he go now. Magic! <sighs> Even though I killed him, I was hurt badly. I had to heal up quickly. I made a lot of noise. Other players heard it. They might have been on their way here right now. It was time to quickly loot his body. After looting his body and being fully healed with a blacked out arm but fully healed, it was time to move on. So I decided to check all the near stashes and spawns. Afterwards I used the middle land bridge to go across and check the dead scav's body in the bushes. Surprisingly, there were some more bodies around from dead scavs. Purely due to the fact that nobody looted them, I decided to pick up everything I could. It was time to check the other scavs body as well. found some food and a backpack. I was doing well. 
green gunpowder. That's a lot of money. There was yet another body. And I wanted to check it. Just in case it's pawns. Labs key card or some valuable item. Unfortunately, it did not. Therefore, I proceeded further on into the map. I went alongside a wall, again to the stash that I love most, the one underneath the tree. Again, black tarp. It was time for yet another stash. After looting this one, I moved towards the exit around the edges of the map and all of a sudden there were gun f gunshots fired it was an SVD I moved as far as possible away from the SVD because I didn't want that player to find me the SVD is a very powerful gun and therefore I went all the, all the way around the edge of the map After looting yet another stash, I decided it was time to move towards the exit. But the greed, the greed, it couldn't, I, I couldn't be saved. The greed was pulling me in, I wanted more loot, I needed more items. So I decided to stop and check some more stashes, toolboxes, and that's when I found water filter which is worth a lot of money I grabbed it I needed those nails I needed those screws as well so it was decision-making what do I keep what do I drop I picked it up and moved quickly towards the next stash even though my inventory was full and I should have gone out I decided nah what if there's two million rubles inside the stash what, what if there's the best gun in the game, fully decked out, M4A1? I needed to check that stash. Unfortunately, there was no best gun. There was no 2 million rubles. But what there was, is a player coming towards me. And yes, it was the player I was trying to avoid this whole time, a player shooting an SVD. And he was coming at me. I was hoping he didn't hear me, I was hoping he didn't know where I am. This was my downfall. getting one tap in a face yet again and this was all because of the greed nothing else but the greed because I had to check another stash if I just had for the exit I would have been safe and sound in my in my hideout I would have been in my stash I would have looted all those items sell them to the traders earn big bucks but no and then I turned in the last quest or the last saluva kit for the quest and it was time to grab yet another quest from our good sister 
So after grabbing that quest, I decided to go yet again on customs with my PMC because I had no nerves to go on on woods. So quickly checking the jacket and guess what? A factory key. The key that's worth quite a lot of money at the beginning of the wipe. After searching these stashes, I went quickly across the street to check the cabins because they had another three jackets and a duffel bag. Looking in it, I found a lot of money. So I decided to, to throw out my Salua just to grab the thermometer. Because that one item is worth around 50,000 rubles. Afterwards, it was time to move forward. I decided to use the first land bridge and go across, check the few stashes along the way. And just as I thought I was safe, Scavs were plotting again. Since I had only one mag, it was time to quickly reload. And as I thought all the danger had passed, I saw a player standing right in front of me. That was an easy kill, I thought. Unfortunately, the gun was kicking like a wild Mustang. I couldn't control the recoil and I had only one mag, so I had to run back into the bush and start reloading once again. And just as soon as I reloaded and I was ready to rock and roll, the player was no longer there. So I picked up everything I could from this cab and started slowly pushing towards the last known location of him. Just as I pushed to the bush. I started hearing some shots, I started hearing some noise and I thought the player was right here and he was. Seems like he didn't see me or hear me so I decided to slowly push after him But, there was another player in this building. That means that was a team of two players. And I obviously injured this one and he was yet healing inside, unaware of me approaching him. So I decided to use this opportunity while his partner was away to kill him, grab all his loot and get away. successful kill and now the game didn't want to drop my gun instantly because there's a mechanic that needs a lot of time and his partner did kill me even though I gave him a couple of good shots he killed me and now it was time again to sort my inventory to grab another set of items that I'm gonna take with me into the raid this time, I was thinking, should I go woods or customs? But at the end, I decided to go customs again. After checking the stash, I moved to the tent and then quickly moved underneath. My favorite stash was awaiting for me. When all of a sudden, I heard movement. There was a player pushing right above me. Just as I was about to shoot, another set of footsteps. It was a stack of two players. At this point, I decided not to engage. I waited silently 
and let them go in peace. Otherwise, I would have been in pieces again. After they left, it was time to loot the, the stash again. After looting the stash, I moved forwards, I went for the exit, and it was time to go out. Along the way, I checked a couple of more stashes, looked for players, but there was nothing of interest to be found, so I went for the furthest exit possible. And just as I thought everything was done, I was safe, I went out, I get this. Now, all the jokes aside, this was very, very weird to me. Because in the next picture you can see the time when I started a raid, and that is 39 minutes and 56 seconds. And now you can see the time when I exited the raid, which was 29 minutes and 42 seconds. And this is what the game calculated how much time I spent in. Now, I don't know what kind of a bug is it or why, but from the new patch it was made so that you can exit after 10 minutes and get a status survived. But anyways, it's a topic for developers to discuss how are they gonna fix it. This was the second episode of our survival series. I hope you enjoyed guys and I will see you on the next episode.